Go. Alright, this is uh, Jeremiah Wrong. No, I promised like two months ago I was going to post this. But man, uh, I'm glad that everything's died down with Whitney Houston and everything. Uh, uh, but I've just been busy uh, working, moving, signing contracts, trying to make deals, uh, trying to build companies and stuff like that. And uh, But, you know, uh, back when I posted this, uh, it really disturbed me that WLEX had an article uh, stating that, that Kentucky fans remember Whitney Houston. And uh, when you read the article, it brought up the fact that she was a great singer and they remember the time when she came to Lexington, Kentucky and she uh, she punched a guy in the eye. And But they said it was probably due to the crack, due to the alcohol, and they don't want to remember that. And they just left it at that. But I, I remember that time. So I decided to do more research. I researched the Orlando Citadel, uh, which is a... a a paper uh, based out of Orlando, Florida, and uh, they have both sides of the story. And um, it stated that fact that charges were filed against Whitney Houston and her brother, and Whitney Houston punched this guy in the eye. Uh, but the other side of the story, which doesn't make the actions correct, I mean, uh, right, but uh, Whitney Houston uh, countered, she filed charges against two other guys the guys that she punched, one of the guys that she punched, um, stating that racial slurs were being used, you know, uh, against her. And, and eventually after that, all all charges were dropped. So my, my whole thing is, as far as WLAX is concerned, who's supposed to be Lexington's uh, a form of media, uh, you didn't do justice for the people, regardless of what color they were, you know. You didn't tell the whole story. You only told part of the story. So I felt like it was it was just completely unfair. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't never bought a Whitney Houston album. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I mean, I, I acknowledge that the fact that she was a great singer. I acknowledge the fact that she may have some issues. But I feel like it's disrespectful to, to Whitney Houston's death. To it's disrespectful to uh, Whitney Houston's family and her fans. You know, to just mention one side of the story. And that's the whole thing with, with Kentucky that, that I have, you know, with Lexington, Kentucky, anywhere in America. You know, uh, we have to be real and face the real issues. We can't keep covering up stuff and just telling one side of the story. Let's tell both sides of the story. You know what I mean? So, you know, officially, WLEX18, I'm dissing you. Whoever wrote the article, absolutely immature i feel like you know i challenge your level of intellect you, you know what i mean for for writing such a thing i'm sorry that it took me so long uh to get to this but i didn't forget about it it's like you know i gotta take care of family first i have to take care of business but this was definitely something that was on my heart and you know as far as jeremiah wrong's concerned i ain't never stopping i ain't never giving up uh still got things in the work but we, we things in the works but we just gotta make it uh just got to get these deals uh, and, and contracts signed to make sure things are official uh, before we, we promote it. So I just want to let y'all know that, man. So just WLEX18, they dissed. Anything you see on the media, question it. Anything on the site, question it. You know what I mean? Uh, Whitney Houston, uh, rest in peace uh, to the Houston family. Much respect. And, uh, you know, God bless. I'm out of here.